So this is the Isle of Arran. It's an island that everyone names Miniature Scotland. But if it is a miniature Scotland, it's got a lot to live up to. It needs driving roads, scenery, wildlife, everything. And we're here to find out well, is it any good? We're also giving away four Park for Night Plus subscriptions so you can find beautiful overnight parking locations just like this one. To enter yourself into the Park for Night giveaway, simply pop a comment in the comment section below. And the four winners will be announced in the next couple of weeks. You can't class yourself as a miniature Scotland without having the most important thing to me and probably a lot of people watching this video, which is some beautiful driving roads. We've had a look and on the map of the Isle of Arran, there's potentially two different driving roads that have potential for being bangers. So first things first, we need to try and find the first route and see if it lives up to the hype of being a miniature Scotland. The road that you're seeing now is the route that cuts through the middle of Arran. From Broddick to Blackwater Foot and although there were some very nice parts of the route, it wasn't quite the beautiful driving route that I hoped it would be. Luckily for us, Arran was just teasing us and you will see how breathtaking its best driving road was later in the video. This is nice, but I don't think it's quite it. So here at Easmore Waterfall, well, the car park for the waterfall anyway, so we've got a bit of a hike to go and see what looks to be a pretty cool looking waterfall, but on top of that we found a building that looks really creepy called the library, and it looks like it's further up into the forest. Not gonna lie, this is one of the creepiest things I've seen for a bit. It's like a head, a mannequin thing, a wind chime. I'm not sure if we're meant to be here or where this cabin is, but this bit's definitely creepy enough as it is. So it turns out the cabin isn't as creepy as it looks. It is creepy inside, but it's got good meaning. It's for like people to write their dreams and wishes and nice messages and stuff down. So yes, there's a few disturbing ones, not gonna lie. But there's also a lot of nice ones. I don't get how there's not really any water running considering it's like February. It's going the opposite way. It literally is going the other way. The tide's out on a waterfall. How big is it? Still a waterfall. We walked all the way up here for a drizzle. Well, there's more where that comes from the bottom of the van when the water leaks. So you don't get views like that too often, and that's been, I would say, the best view we've seen so far on the whole trip. This is all gorgeous, that's gorgeous, and you've even got my self-named Nipple Island just in the distance as well. Our rating system is based on the following five categories. Scenery, driving views, infrastructure, things to do, and park for night coverage. Each is then scored out of 10, with 10 being the maximum points, and at the end of the trip, we add the scores together, and that gives us the road trip's final score. We then put the scores on a leaderboard so you can see which road trips are the best and which ones is best to avoid. Now there is two contrasting opinions in this van. There's mine, which is that I haven't got particularly high hopes for Aaron, if I'm being totally honest. The scenery looks nice from what I've seen, but it's a small island, there cannot be a lot to do here. However, I, on the other hand, think it's gonna be lovely. And I reckon you'll be eating your words by the end of it. One of the recent road trips where that has been the case, if you haven't seen the video already, was the Cambrian Way in Wales. There is a link to that video somewhere around here. You can click it, go and watch it, because if you're going to Wales and you want to do a road trip, that is the one that you should be doing. Not the coastal one, none of the rest, the Cambrian Way, and only the Cambrian Way. Lochranza Castle, what a lovely, oh, lovely day. 
So this is Locranza. There's a castle here. It's like a little village thing, a little harbour. And as far as I'm aware, a little bit up the road, you can get a ferry back to mainland Scotland because you can literally see it from here. There. Have you ever seen in any part of the northeast two bins side by side? Which one's one? litter and dog waste, that's why. Oh, that'll be why then. But at least there's two bins, they've been on where we live. And I'd be like, don't litter and don't put your dog waste anywhere. So I'll just carry it about with us for about two hours and just slapping dog shite off my <laughs> leg in a bag. That's exactly what I do. <laughs> that kind of cope with it. We spent the night in a beautiful park up on Drummadoon Beach where the next morning Danny made sure I admitted how wrong I'd been about Aaron's beach situation. Basically yesterday I stated twice in two separate clips that there's no nice beaches at all on Aaron so you can't class it as a miniature Scotland without them. But it hasn't got beaches. There's not a single beach here. None of them that's worth really noting to be honest. They're just strips of gravel with some rock. And then about half an hour later we found one and then last night we actually stayed at this one which is Drunadoon. It's a beautiful beach to be fair. It's still not quite the north coast or the west coast. It's not Malig, it's not Sango San, but it is nice. I will give you that. After we finished our walk we sat and discussed Aaron and Danny came out with one of the funniest things I've ever heard I say. Aaron might be my new. Is it? Possibly, I don't know. New favourite island? I. Although it's not my favourite island. What is your favourite island? You haven't got one. The sky. Was it an island though? That's why it's called the Isle of Sky. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm so it's glad got I got that eventually <laughs> on camera. No, because you can get a bridge across. Right. To me, it's not cut off. It's not an island. It's Take the bridge away. It's an it island. Used, it didn't. You always have a bridge. Well, therefore, take it away. It's not an island. <laughs> <laughs> You're winding me up. Time to review all your thoughts. The roads, honestly, I mentioned them once or twice in the video, but Jesus Christ, the roads are not good. They're not in good condition. We are along the pier at Lamlash. So that is the Holy Isle. It's like a Buddhist island that was gifted by some wifey that owned it before that. There's a lot of history and story to that that I'm probably doing absolutely no justice to. But if you're interested in that, look it up. We can't visit it today because there isn't any ferries today. It was finally time for us to head to the road that leads from Sanex to La Carranza. This was the driving route that I hoped would blow my socks off. We're at the sort of head of the driving route and at the minute, the road condition isn't particularly great. Now nothing ruins a nice driving route more than dodgy, knackered roads. The wait has been well worth it. Wow. Now this, this is a driving road. The clouds rolling over the mountains to the right hills and everything to the left. The sea as you're coming down and the, the sort of coast. This is beautiful. One thing I will say though is I can kind of see the bottom of it already. Yes, the route is beautiful, don't expect it for ages though because again the island's tiny but everything it has got, it's got in small doses but the very, very nice small doses. Would you honestly have thought that that last shot of the palm trees was in the Isle of Arran, a Scottish island in February? Well it was. This place has just exceeded all my expectations. The feel of the island, the people, how clean it is, it's immaculate, there's no rubbish anywhere, there's bins literally everywhere. It's easy to get to, it's easy to drive around, it's small enough so that within two days of driving around it I feel like I know everywhere. 
I don't put the sat nav on for anything. We just kind of head to places because I know where they are. What a stunning, stunning location this is. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I can't wait to come back. I can 100% see why people fall in love with this place now. Danny the Swan Whisperer. What are you doing? <laughs> so we've just literally seen about probably a full class of kids, maybe it's 10, 12 out with the teacher, coming out down the beach, all loving life, running around, playing, litter picking the whole thing. I mean, not that there is any rubbish here. Stuff, little things like that that make a huge difference. And just even seeing them do that, if you were someone that dropped litter, would make you so much more conscious to not do that going forward. So there's a thing called the doctor's bath trying to find it but obviously it is a little bit hard trying to find basically a hole filled with water in lots of other holes that are filled with water. So Danny has found the doctor's bath. Found it eventually. Oh it actually has got full on steps yeah. and everything. Mm -hmm. That's like a doctor's paddling pool that. It's much lion. bigger than I thought. I was thinking it was going to be like a little, like a little thing. I'm not much of a history buff, if I'm being totally honest, but from what we've found, these were something to do with Robert the Bruce. I'm guessing he's some sort of Scottish bloke. Um, if you can let us know who Robert the Bruce was in the comments below. I didn't really take much notice in history, as you can probably tell. And I'm not sure if these have been there for years, hundreds of years or what, or whether someone's just rocked down with some crayons and drew them on. So we seem to have found the metal gate at the end, which is just through here. I don't know what the purpose of the gate is. I'm guessing there's some sort of significance there that I probably should have researched before we got it here. But that's just not how I do it, is it, really? Danny not so keen on coming in. She's not a fan of caves or anything that could fall on her head. She'd be knackered though, because I've got the car key, so if something did squash us, she's stuck here anyway. And don't get us wrong, King's Cave is nice but the best part about going to king's cave is actually the part where you go into king's cave because the scenery as you walk along is bloody beautiful so now for the important part the scores for the isle of Arran. so scenery nine nine driving scenery Same. nine nine infrastructure nine nine things to do nine nine and park for night has to be a 10. That's the first time we've ever agreed on something like this. Yeah. That shows how amazing this island is. We fell in love with We man. have literally fallen in love with this place. Back. We are coming back. This is now my favorite place in Scotland 